Good morning. It is July 7th and we have 84 days until Ironman Chattanooga and it is about 5.55 in the morning and it is a Sunday as I said so Sunday is long run day and I need to get an extra early start today uh, because I've got some stuff to do and my wife has some stuff to do so I need to get home by at least just after eight o'clock so I'm gonna run for about two hours and I'm thinking about maybe 12 miles today maybe a little bit more I've got a route planned but I actually don't know how far it is so I'm just gonna do that route and then we'll uh, figure it out uh, it's my normal route but I'm just adding an extra leg in that I've never run before so I don't actually know how long it is so all right, uh, I'm going to get started and uh, I'll probably uh, talk a little bit more at some point, uh, maybe in about half an hour when the sun comes up because it's uh, still pretty dark. All right, let's get this long run going. All right, I'm not even a half mile in and uh, yeah, I came across this little guy here and I hope he's okay. He doesn't seem to be moving. Maybe I got him scared. I think that this might be a box turtle box tortoise and uh, I'm just gonna gently get him off this path here because there's a very busy road not too far and I'm hoping that he will continue this way all oh, right I know you can't see that but I don't want him to turn around and go on the road so all right bye all right I am at my turnaround, which is exactly at nine kilometers. And uh, got these nice guys that are wondering what I'm up to. Yeah, they're beautiful. I just love seeing this stuff in the morning. I'm always like on the lookout, you know, oh, where are the deer? Where are the animals? Yeah, so nice. There you go. All right, so yeah, I've got the deer in the background there. All right, so I'm like I said, I'm at nine kilometers. Sorry about that. And uh, about my turnaround point, and this is where I might deviate off the straight return to add a little bit more uh, kilometers or mileage to my run. Uh, one thing I gotta say, it's only about, it's just under 80 degrees now. So, I mean, for here, it's not bad, but it's the humidity. I cannot remember the last time I sweated this much. With the humidity this high, the sweat is not doesn't cool you down or refresh you in any way. It just lingers on you. I mean, my clothes are soaked. My, my shorts are just completely soaked. Yeah, I actually I wear my bottles here on the back and uh, I actually took them out and like checked the caps and stuff like that to see if they were leaking because I mean, my shorts and everything like that were just completely soaked. I was like, it has to be a leak in the water bottles, but no, it's, uh, it's just the, there's no place for the uh, sweat to evaporate to because it's so humid outside. Um, because of that, uh, I've been drinking more than normal too. I'm not used to this, so I have to make sure I don't get dehydrated. Uh, I've been drinking. Normally I would barely have anything by now and I've been drinking pretty regularly, just sipping, just to make sure that I don't dehydrate because that's definitely a danger, so. All right, I just hit the 11K mark, did my extra little bit there. So now that I've done that, I'm about, probably on pace to do 20k if I go straight home which at the moment I think I'm going to do I've actually got a nice little bonus surprise training this afternoon I'm actually finally gonna get on my mountain bike and go for a mountain bike I belong to a mountain bike club that I've been riding with for over 20 years and uh, they do a group ride uh, twice a month in the summer and about once a month in the winter months and uh, up until I had kids uh, I rode with them religiously got about 150 rides with the group you know we only go like once or twice a month you know you do about 12 15 rides a year with the group so so they're having a group ride today and it's not that far uh, from where I live so I'm gonna jump on not going to be a particularly long ride but uh very excited i haven't seen a lot of my mountain bike friends for a while and now i only make it to about two maybe three rides a year the last one i did 
was in about February of this year, I think. So, so it's been a while since I, I've rode with them. So yeah, I'm really excited. Get to catch up and ride some trail. It's gonna be great. I'll see if I can film a bit of it. And uh, that'll be a, a little bonus training for today. All right, back to it. Oh my god. Oh. All right, I just passed the 15k mark. <clears throat> I've been averaging about 530, almost 540. A kilometer so like nice and slow uh, real actually happy about that just taking it easy i find that if i start fast i feel internal pressure to maintain that starting speed but same goes if i if i can get myself to start slow i don't feel pressure to speed up you know so if i would have done that first kilometer in like five minutes I would have been like, oh, I can keep this up. So the fact that I'm doing a nice 5.30, 5.40 pace is perfect. Especially after doing the Peace Tree where I ran quite hard. So, so yesterday I did work out. I only rode the trainer and uh, I did record it. I decided it's really not worth making a vlog. You're just sitting there on a bike. I mean, how much do I really have to say? You know, oh, I'm doing this virtual climb, you know. Uh, so I decided to just scrap it, you know. I'm not gonna bore you to death. Sometimes I feel like I'm already boring enough as it is, so. So yeah, maybe I'll cut down on the super boring stuff, like some of my trainers. They're just not interesting. But uh, I like doing it outside. I like running outside. I don't run inside, I don't have a treadmill. So all my running will be outside. Oh, okay, it's uh, just before eight o'clock, which is perfect. And I did 19 kilometers even, which is just perfect. <clears throat> really happy with the run. Uh, time running, hour 47 minutes. My pace, five minutes, 38 seconds per K. So that's just actually just perfect. And average heart rate, only 144, so that's good. Holding anything under 150 for to close to two hours, especially in this humidity, is uh, really good. I definitely uh, drank quite a bit on this run. Uh, like I said, it's not it's not like a badge of honor to like not drink. You know, I I've often said you know I don't need water if I'm doing 10k or less because I don't but I also do know when I do need water. So, you know, it's not like, a, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too good for this kind of thing, All right? You gotta know yourself, All right? So, if you need water, take it. Yeah, so, but uh, I definitely look like I just got out of the swimming pool. It is crazy, yeah, the humidity today. All right, so, it's eight o'clock. My family's probably all just waking up. I'm gonna cool down get a shower, get some breakfast for the kids, and then I get to get my mountain bike ready for my ride today. I'm eating at around noon, so yeah, it's not gonna be hot or humid at noon either, so definitely gonna be a challenge after doing this run today, but I'll take my time and just enjoy being on my mountain bike again. All right, let's get some breakfast.